quick look at the Tui Zero ERO four band HF loop. Uh, this covers 17, 20, 30, and 40 meters. And I'm actually going to just do a bit of uh, FT8 at 5 watts from its current location. So it's very nice, very well built, uh, very sturdy, uh, homemade capacitor plate, and uh, I would imagine many, many hours of um, 3D printing. Now, on the top here, I have a little motor drive with this one. Uh, that's a little connector there. You go about three meters. It's about um, three meters of uh, this to the controller. I may be wrong, but it looks about three meters. Just glancing at it now. The controller you get to actually control the motor. It's a 12 volt supply. Um, is this nice little uh, 3D printed box here. So you've got fast and slow and then you've got obviously uh, clockwise and anti-clockwise so that to fine tune and then obviously uh, a faster motion if you want to get there quickly now this I'm actually going to do FT8 as I've mentioned from this location I was actually going to put it on the windowsill but I have um, sort of uh, picture, picture frame type sash windows um, which is has this stainless steel aluminium profiling and um, I'm, I believe that may affect uh, well I know it will affect the radiation pattern I believe it actually comes off off the ends here the actual lobes themselves uh, but I've had this now about two years and uh, I purchased it because I had no HF antennas in the garden at the time um, the other thing I was going to do is take it out in the field, but I feel that I was going to stick this on a fiberglass pole, obviously on a dry day. Uh, this is an, an indoor HF uh, loop. Um, if you've got very little or to no noise floor, I know that's the whole idea of loops, is, is to eliminate a lot of noise. But um, obviously out in the field, if you've got nothing, it's going to be very, very hard to tune against listening to um, sort of the white noise on the radio, unless you're going to actually tune in to a um, particular frequency that's active. Um, uh, the other thing you could obviously do is um, obviously use a... Um, antenna analyzer but uh, this is just for this particular style of loop there i know there's other loops mfj loops that uh, uh, make life a lot easier um but this has uh, served me well uh, but i just thought i'd um, just 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 show you the performance on it on five watts from this location in the corner of my in the corner of my uh, shack so uh, back to you shortly Right, as you can see there now, you can see my radio in the top right there. I'm using my FT991A, uh, running 5 watts on 40 meters as the band starts to open up now as the uh, the evening draws in and the grey line approaches. Um, I've used four bands uh, that this loop does, which is um, 17, 20 meters, 30 meters and 40 meters so i've uh, just tried the loop on five watts on on uh, all those bands um, the time now is almost coming up to 9 p.m uh, so it probably wasn't the best time to actually um, demonstrate the loop uh, as, uh, as you can see 20 meters there in orange uh, wasn't particularly good uh, at sort of 7 p.m. Uh, in the evening, uh, which is to be expected, but uh, it's hard to get all bands active um, because obviously bands are um, HF bands are some are good in the morning, some are good in the evening. Um, but five watts gets you heard, and I'm getting out as you can see there on PSK report on the bottom right, and um, obviously using WSJTX. So I'll say uh, 73s and. Um, Catch you again soon.